going on? It's your resident bike nerd, Broadway Biker here. Welcome to another video. So whether you are a returning viewer or someone who's just come here for the first time, I want to invite you, if you want, to take a second to subscribe to this channel. A lot of people don't know what that even means to subscribe to that channel, and I was in the same boat for a long time. Basically, all you do is you look down below the video, there's a button that says subscribe, you click it. If you want, there's a little bell that you can click and that will just give you notifications for every time I upload a really awesome video. Otherwise, simply subscribing to a channel does not mean anything for you. It's no commitment, it's no money, it's no whatever the heck. It basically just says, hey, I think this channel is cool. I kind of want to watch other videos. It's like putting a bookmark in a page near a chapter you really liked and want to visit again. Why the heck do all these stinking YouTubers, including me, always talk about subscribing, subscribing, subscribing? In the future, when I'm making more super wonderful videos, fingers crossed, if I want to monetize any of them and get some marginal amount of money back from the hours of time that I spend making this video, and it is literally hours, then a certain number of subscribers, I believe it's over a thousand, is required to even be considered for monetization. So I would super appreciate it if you do enjoy this video, if you are enjoying my bike across the United States of America travel vlog videos, that you just subscribe to this channel. It means no hassle, no sweat off your back. Anyway, that was a long preamble. Welcome, I'm Joni, also known as Broadway Biker. I am obsessed with all things bike commuting. I'm obsessed with breaking down mental fears or blocks or like, I just don't know how to do this. You might have around bike commuting and bike terrain. I also just got back from biking solo across the entire United States of America, and I'm currently editing and putting out all my travel vlogs. So far, we're only up to New Orleans, so we have a whole, whole Western Southern United States to get through. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm also a music lover. I'm a musician, I'm a performer. One of my favorite things to do is sing on my bike. So yes, there's lots of singing while biking if you're into that. Let's get into the video. Okay, so like any good grocery outing, we are going to start by making a list. Lists are super helpful, especially when you're getting groceries by your bike because you have a little more limited space than you would if you were driving a big old Suburban. Meal planning helps a lot, that way you really know what you need. I'm not going to tell you how to meal plan, you can probably figure it out, but just think about your list. How big is your bag? How many things do you need? What is the weight of these things? Another tip I have when writing your list is to make an essentials portion of your list and then an optional portion of your list. That way, if you have space after you've loaded up on all of your essentials, you can buy the non-essentials. This is particularly useful if you're new to bike commuting and you're still getting the feel for how large of a load your bags and your setup can accommodate. There are so many different ways to carry things on your bicycle, but for the point of this video, I've broken it down into six pieces. Number one being a backpack. This is definitely one of the easiest ways to carry things on your bike. The only thing is your back gets really sweaty and if you have back problems to begin with, it might not be the best option. Number two is just hang your grocery bags off of your handlebars. Definitely the most accessible. All you need are your grocery bags and a bike. It might not be the most safe though, as your bags have a tendency to constantly hit your wheels and your spokes. Number three is a milk carton. I mean, a milk crate. Yes, a milk crate. I did this for so long. This is great. It eliminates back sweat and it's a great compromise if you want to carry some heavier items and you want to get that weight off of your body and onto your bike. Number four is a front basket. So front baskets can either be suspended hanging off of your handlebars or they can be used in conjunction with a front rack. Front baskets normally don't carry the most amount of things, but they're great for sticking some heavier items in there. Number five would be the method I currently use, and that is panniers. Panniers are bags, saddlebags essentially, that hang off the sides of either a front or a rear rack. You can go both ways. Rear racks will definitely always be able to accommodate larger panniers in general. You can get some great, solid, waterproof panniers from a variety of companies. 
Number six would be the pizza rack. Pizza rack is basically a big old flat front rack that sits out in front of your bike. I would recommend using a pizza rack in conjunction with a cargo net. A cargo net is kind of like a stretchy net that you can use to really strap and cinch down your food or your bag or whatever you have up there. Pizza racks are also great for carrying around delicious beverages, be they alcoholic or not in nature. Sparkling water, anyone? Okay, now here's where it gets fun. You get to choose what combination of these six things works best for you. You can use one, two, three, four, five, or all six if you're really going crazy. Whatever you think is going to work best for your setup is what you should do. Have fun, play around, and don't be afraid to revise your setup as time goes on. You'll figure out what works best for you. Leave a comment down below. What's your method of carrying things on your bicycle? What would be your dream or ideal setup? Maybe we can inspire each other. Personally, I have been using these Ortley back roller panniers that I bought for my bike trip and I love them. They're kind of just like a big empty sack. Uh, <laughs> they do have these two divider pockets. One is a smaller zipped one and one is a big old kind of folder laptop style pouch. After years of not buying these, I'm so glad I finally did. <laughs> And of course, I'm going to recommend wearing a helmet. Any helmet, any style will do, as long as it fits your head and protects you, you are gonna be the coolest cat riding around with your groceries. Helmets, yeah! So bring your bicycle, some sort of bags, and a lock, and you're here ready to go. Congratulations, you've made it to the grocery store! Now depending on how much of an issue shoplifting is in your area, if you are able to safely without getting hassled, put the food you're buying into the bags you'll be carrying it in, just to make sure you really have enough room for everything. Here's one of my favorite tips. Grab some coupon flyers on the way into the store and use that paper to wrap your frozen food in. Either that, or see if you can find one of those little insulated lunch bags at a thrift store somewhere. When packing up your food, think about the structure of everything. Will it smash like a banana? Is it really heavy? Pack accordingly. I'll sometimes have one bag full of squishy items and one bag full of really heavy solid stuff. So there you go. Turns out it isn't that hard to get groceries on your bicycle. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, uh, hello, you're one person, I have a family. There's two people I'm chopping for. I have a family of 29 million people. And I will say, you can get pretty stinking far on two full panniers. My panniers were both only at about 60% capacity, so I could have jammed more stuff in there. Also, if you're using the pinair setup, you might have noticed that I had nothing on the top of my rack. So while my side space was filled up, the top of that rack was free for another 30, 40 pounds of groceries to get on top. And worst case scenario, it's not really the worst case. I did this for years. You can just wear a backpack in addition to whatever bags you're carrying on your bicycle. It does produce a pretty hefty amount of back sweat depending on the season, but in a pinch, it's not that bad. So I hope this little bit of introduction guide was enough to get you started, maybe get you thinking about how you can do groceries, errands, all sorts of fun stuff on your bicycle. Are there still things you're confused about, things you're curious about, stuff I didn't even touch on at all that you wanna know about? Let me know, typey, 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 down below this video and I will answer them. And if it's within your budget, cargo bikes are stinking awesome. So yeah, cargo bikes are an amazing option if you have the budget. Another incredible possibility, if you're a little more well off financially, is an electric bicycle. 
dang, will this revolutionize your way of transportation. It's just like a normal bicycle. You have to pedal, but your pedal power is amplified through a battery. So it just kind of feels like you're riding a bike, but you have superpowers. Another great option for if you're really loading up on groceries is to get a little pull-behind child trailer. I see these all the time at garage sales. Garage sales? Garage. Gr garage. Garage. Garage sales. I see them on Craigslist. I see them on like neighborhood trading post Facebook websites, Facebook marketplaces. These buggies are everywhere. I've even seen some amazing flatbed trailers with people carrying furniture, canoes, lumber, coffee, all sorts of fun stuff. So get creative, look at forms on the internet for inspiration, and most of all, have fun. So I hope this inspired you to maybe go out and do your little corner store or your huge epic Target or whatever grocery store you have around you haul. If it did, let me know how it went. And if you have any more questions, just let me know. If you have other bike commuting, touring, music related topics you want me to do videos on, also shoot me a comment. I would be delighted to read them. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for going to the grocery store. Don't make yourself some food already.